I ordered this from Amazon and I'm so happy that I did. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Webus. Today is day 9 of our Scorpio build and I was hoping to rest today. I thought I wouldn't do anything but now I have some free time so I thought why not now. In the last episode, 8th episode, we were able to finally get the time member in place perfectly. So, but now it's only tack welded. We have to finally make the perfect welds now uh, not the full and final welds i mean and meanwhile check this out this perfectly aligned the headlight is perfectly aligned here here the grill i tried putting on the grill it looks pretty good now and this side also perfectly aligned so yeah let's continue So let's open the bonnet so now since i've installed the grill we cannot just open it from here uh, so we need to go the old-fashioned way the lever right there lever mm -hmm. there you go and now since our test fitting is done let's remove the grill and everything And before we proceed we can remove the lights as well because now we'll be welding so i don't want to damage the lights so let's just quickly take them off and then we'll finalize our welds for the time member Now right there, check this out. This is the place where the apron is in contact with our tie member. So right here we are going to weld it. So maybe we'll have to cut a bit of the tie member to make it fit perfectly and then we will weld it. I know a lot of you are gonna complain about me using a stick welding to weld this apron with the tie member but uh, honestly when I see when I saw these two sheets coming together the thickness is quite uh, quite big enough to use stick welding and I tried it and it worked perfectly fine so now my plan is that wherever I mean you can take a look the welds are you know pretty good and strong so the plan is now wherever I have to weld in the sheet like uh, 90 degrees like that there i will use mig welding and rest of the places i'll just use stick welding and let's let's weld these two to these two together I have done part of the weldings uh, check this out uh, this is how it looks it is pretty strong so it's not it is not going anywhere for sure now there's another problem which has come up right here check this out this is the place where we keep our battery and it is all rusted and gone so uh, the battery keeps falling onto this fire uh, this hose and it is a big fire hazard so that's why I need to fix this as well uh, so basically I think I'll have to make a whole bracket for it and then just weld it in this place so let's take everything out now i'm going to use this uh, this piece of r this rod for making the base and then we'll weld the rest of it So 
so i got this amazing gadget from amazon and i am so glad that i did because it is proving to be very useful in my build so now if you see i have this apron and the time member they have a little bit of gap in between so i need to hold it together before welding so that's what it is gonna do <laughs> perfect check this out now uh, this clamp is holding both the pieces together and there is no gap at all and now i can start welding it properly so it's done and let me show you the welds right there check this out the apron is welded oh wow it's coming out already it's breaking from here but anyways that's the only place it's breaking rest of it is pretty good and strong so we can just you know weld it again and move on so now he has invented i would say invented yeah this piece of metal just to fit in right here perfectly this is gonna solve the problem that we had for our battery placement like it was you know falling apart so it is gonna create a base for it because we had nothing to weld the battery on so yeah this plate is gonna keep the battery from falling so yeah we are trying to fix it here and once it's done i guess it was it will hold the battery in place so yeah so now we need to find a way to adjust it properly and then you know we are gonna just uh weld it in place for a bit and then we are just gonna hammer it to get it in shape so that's the plan uh, let's do it So now there are two holes in the time member which has perfectly aligned with this hole on the base rail. So now we have to put two uh, these bushes right below the time member 
and I should have actually done it before placing the time member there but I forgot and but I cannot take the time member apart again so I'll have to find a way to put them in this one washer goes up and the other one goes down so let's just put them in and then put the bolt on so it will you know fit perfectly it won't go anywhere So here is the bush I have placed it I had to cut the metal from the front a bit but then yeah uh, the bush is in place from both up and down so let's tighten it. And nicely done our time member is not going anywhere on the left side it's a bit easier. And we are done on both sides. Let's just tighten it up. And finally it's done. So let me show you what uh, we have done. So this is the weld. This is the place where we have, we have welded the time member. And it doesn't look so good. But it is nice and strong. And right here at the bottom the apron is also welded. Uh, going to the front we have two bolts one on the left one on the right so both are in there and then the on the right side also the weld is pretty good better than the uh, left side and the apron is also welded so now our time member is perfectly in place and you know uh, yeah the apron also good so that's it this was day nine and it looks like there was not much progress but actually there is I have welded the time member completely and the apron to the time member okay so that's a wrap see you in the next one bye bye like share subscribe tada if you like this video please consider subscribing